what's up guys how's it going it is Matt here so I'm gonna be giving you guys a quick little EDC update so uh, we're talking about a holster today um, now uh, I do have a lot of viewers on the channel and uh, everyone that knows if you follow me for a lot of period of time I'm a staunch supporter of strong side carry I'm a staunch staunch supporter of strong side carry but at the same time I do like appendix carry. I, I do like appendix carry. I, it's not one of those things I recommend to many people. I don't recommend it to a lot of people just because there's a lot of uh, things you got to take into consideration before you carry appendix, like where it's pointed. You know. Now, when it comes to appendix carry, um, before you decide whether or not you want to do it or not, you have to uh, take in. You have, you have to do the factors, do a little bit of research and stuff like that, and practice. Um, practice how to use it, practice drawing and pull, you know, and reholstering and stuff like that because it is a little bit more of a dangerous carry. However, it's a really good method of carrying a firearm, especially in this time of year where you're talking t-shirt, fitted t-shirt weather, and, you know, shorts and t-shirts or stuff like that. You know, this time of year, um, it's easy to conceal appendix. It really is easy to conceal appendix if you know how to do it properly. Now, like I said, I have before I've talked about it in the past, this time of year, pretty much I all I, I usually do carry appendix this time of year. I, it, it, it's kind of like a mix. Um, usually it's my J frame. Uh, I carry J frame because it's very small, very easy to conceal. And before that, it was my 6 hour P250. However, I don't, you know, I don't have the 250 anymore, and you know I love my uh, revolver, but for the most part, for me, that's more of a backup pistol. So I want to carry basically my Glock is what I want to be carrying because that's pretty much what I carry on a daily basis so yes I am carrying an appendix so laugh all you want guys I am carrying appendix but there are some really there's some real benefits when it comes to actually appendix carry in the summer so like I said right here you see faded t-shirt I have lost 15 pounds I'm getting to that beard time but here I am fitted t-shirt okay just there a t-shirt was my shirt so I've actually designed my America shirt all right but in this guess what I'm carrying right here an appendix carry holster all right so yes I am carrying appendix now this is a unique holster okay um, I've been looking for a good quality holster and I had actually some of my supporters have actually come down into the shop and they asked me like hey Matt um, do you know much about appendix holsters there's uh, there's one guy in particular he comes to my shop he's out here in Connecticut and he loves appendix carry all right that's his thing he loves appendix carry but he has a really hard time doing it and he says it's very, it's uncomfortable. That's why he likes to carry because he can just seal it better. And he just needs a little bit of advice and he, he wants to find out if I knew anything about it. So, you know, I, I did a little bit of research and actually found something that, you know, I, I'm dealing, digging a lot. So this right here is called a dirt road holster, okay? Dirt road holster, okay? A dirt road, ho road holster. I actually found this on eBay, all right? So you can find these guys on eBay and Etsy. Um, dirt road holsters right here. Take a look at it. Actually a good looking, uh, actually a really nice looking holster, all right? So now I'm a, st I'm like I said, I'm a big advocate of strong side carry, especially for people that don't have much training for strong side carry. But there are people like I said that do like the appendix carry. So what happens is if you look at the prices of like an appendix carry holster, they're insane. All right, they are insane. Like for a decent quality appendix carry holster, specifically designed for you know appendix, you're talking a hundred bucks. All right, eighty to a hundred bucks for a holster like that. It is insane. Literally, people look at it and are like, "Crap! I have to like literally take out like a mortgage payment, or you know, not pay my car this week because I have to buy this holster." So what they do is they take a simple holster like this. Now, the simple holster you can find these anywhere. This is like the most common type of holster that you'll find, and they simply put it up front. You put it up front, and congratulations! Now I'm carrying appendix, and that's what they do. And then they're constantly complaining, say it's very uncomfortable, it doesn't fit very well, the pistol sticking out. The reasons behind that is this is not designed for appendix carry, okay? This is not designed for appendix carry, just the shape of it and everything else. Whereas, something like this, if you notice, there's a different shape to them. I have to get a better grip of it. There's a different shape to them. This one has more of a teardrop look, and this one is more of a flat look. And this also has this Raver, Raven Concealment Claw on it. This Raven Concealment Claw. So the problem with holsters like this, all right, the problem with holsters like this is when you put it appendix, it basically holds the pistol out, and I'll do a quick demonstration for you. It holds the pistol completely flat in holster. All right, hold it flat in holster. When you're wearing it in a shirt like this, it pops your shirt out. It pops your shirt out. The pistol grip actually pops your shirt out because people 
are, aren't really flat. They're a little rounded. Even the people that are you know, like tiny little twigs, they're still rounded in the front. So you have a flat holster like this and it sticks out straight up and the pistol grip does stick out. So that's a big issue because this is once again a strong side holster. It's a flat designed holster, designed specifically for that. Whereas an appendix holster, like I said, it's got this teardrop shape to it, all right? So it actually has more of a natural curve to your body and it has a Raven concealment right here. I believe that's Raven concealment. It's got a Raven on it. Raven concealment claw. Now what the claw does is when you put your belt on, and the clip's over here too, which is I do like. I like the clipping on this side of it. What the claw does is when this puts on it like this, it pushes this back and pushes the pistol grip back up against your body. Now we'll put this on real quick. That's like that. And right here is where you would carry it. Not on the side. A lot of people think appendix up there. It's actually right up here. But the way how it's designed, you simply put it on there and it does not stand out whatsoever. This is what an appendix carry holster is supposed to be, okay? And the cool part about it, why I did like this one and why I went and looked at it is because I was looking at the price one. I bought it for a little over 30 bucks, all right? So I bought it for a little bit over 30 bucks. That's awesome, all right? For a holster, as I mean, I got a freaking bug in my throat. You guys know me for a holster, I want something that's affordable. I'm all about small businesses. You guys know me, I'm about American made small businesses. So these guys are. So Dirt World Holsters, I'll leave a link in the description. So if you want to take out this, take a look at this specific holster, I'll leave a link in the description of that so you can go check them out. Like I said, all these, all these holsters are 100% handmade in, in America. 90, they said like 99% of the materials are 100% American made. So you can find them on eBay, you can find them on Etsy. So for all the people that are looking for an affordable, because that's you can when you put affordable and appendix carry holster together, they, they never match. So if you're looking for an affordable, good quality appendix carry holster, there it is. So dirt rolled holsters, all right. So it's right on my appendix. This is actually part of my summer EDC now. So this will be part of my summer EDC now. With the extra weight loss and stuff like that, it's more comfortable. So it's true, it is a little more comfortable to carry when you lose a little bit of weight. So I'm kind of proud of that. But I'm gonna do a basics of appendix carry. I'll do that another day. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow for a video of basics of appendix carry, appendix carry 101 for bigger dudes or whatever it is. But I'll do that video tomorrow. But just for right now, guys, like seriously, there's a lot of people that haven't asked me. It's like, do you know a good appendix carry holster that I can use? So here he is. So there it is, guys. So Dirt Road Holsters, check out the link in the description. Go check them out below. There you have it, guys. So if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. And remember, guys, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.